Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am here with my little Asian dog. This is Miss Snooky Louise. She is a Shih Tzu and she's very shy today for some reason. She does not want to show her face. She's go oh, oh. Usually what she does is she jumps on the bed in back of me. Are you going now? Is this is this what's happening? Da, 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 da. Anyway, you guys, so she's going to sit in the background. This video is about how Marie Kondo effed up my winter wardrobe. Basically, effed up my whole winter. So if you guys are not familiar with who Marie Kondo is, she has written two books. Her first book was called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. And then the second one um, that I have here is called Spark Joy. I do not have her first book um with me I know I put it somewhere and I already read it and I don't know what I did with it right now um <clears throat> which I guess in turn shows how tidying up helped me I misplaced the book I don't know where it is but anyway um so if you guys are not familiar with Marie Kondo, basically what she did is she came up with a system for you to tidy up your space um with me, myself, over the summer, I noticed that I had a lot of clutter, just like a lot of things. Um, I have two daughters, and now they are out of the house, all moved out. They're 25 and 21, and I had a lot of their things left over. I had a lot of my things, a lot of um, just like things, like stuff that was like cluttering up my life that I just needed to get rid of, that I was holding on to for some reason. So this summer was the summer. And I went through everything. And basically, Marie Kondo has a system um, that she explains in her book. Um, and in the first chapter, she goes over the explanation briefly. And then in the second chapter, you basically start condifying your life. So her first step is, and this is basically what I kind of wanted to warn you guys about because um, if you guys are going to be doing this, learn please from my mistake. I made one major mistake. So the first step is you are supposed to take all of your clothes, all of your clothes and your sheets and your bedding and your towels underwear, bras, sweaters, pants, anything, anything, you know, that you would wear or that you would use in the shower or whatever, any type of clothes, and you take them in a big mound off the hangers, out of the dressers, everywhere, and you basically put them in one central location. That was my living room floor. So I got all of my clothes out, all of my bedding, everything, literally in the house, um, and it's just me living here, but I took all of the kids' stuff, everything, and I made a huge, huge pile in my living room. The next step is, after you, you know, gather all of your clothes and things together, is you are supposed to take each one of those pieces of clothing, put it in your hand, hold it in your hand, and say to yourself, does this bring me joy? And then you're supposed to ask yourself, what is your joy? So my joy just like makes me feel all like warm and fuzzy inside. And like, is it something very special? Is it something very, very valuable? And you're supposed to hold on to the item and ask yourself that question. So I did this with every article of clothing and item type of fabric that you could possibly imagine. Okay, so I am a fanatic of moo-moos. You're going to ask yourself maybe again, Angela, what is a moo-moo? A moo-moo is a very long, luxurious house kind of wear, uh, something that you would wear at home. It's kind of like a nightgown, but it's more luxurious. It's very comfortable. And I just call them moo-moos. So I had an extensive amount of moo-moos. And not all of them brought me joy. And by the way, you guys, I got rid of a lot of my clothes, a ton of my clothes. So this all happened in the summer. And I basically kept about six summer moo-moos. 
And at the time, when I was holding all of my clothes singularly, one at a time, and asking myself if it felt joy, if I felt joy, it was 85 degrees outside. And I didn't have my air on. And I was hot. So when I took that winter muumuu in my hands, I said to myself, this does not bring me joy. So it got put in the donation pile. All of my muumuus got put in the donation pile for the winter. And they got donated. I donated them to Goodwill, and I have no idea who's wearing my muumuu right now, but somebody in Wisconsin certainly got a shit ton of muumuus, and they are very comfortable right now in this 18-degree weather, and I have no winter muumuus. Um, so that is, like, my first mistake is I got rid of a lot of my winter clothing. I got rid of a lot of my winter pajamas. I got rid of a lot of my winter socks that just didn't bring me joy at the time because it was almost 90 degrees outside and I wasn't thinking, you know, I might need this for later. Um, so that is, a, you know, a big tip. Another thing that I got rid of that I am so upset about here in Wisconsin, when it gets to be 20 below zero, the actual temperature, we change from summer bedding to fall bedding and then fall bedding to winter bedding. I am in my winter bedding mode right now, meaning I have a winter comforter, winter blankets, and winter sheets that matched all of my winter bedding. So I was going through my stuff, getting my winter bedding out, and I realized that my winter bedding is gone. And then I thought to myself, Angela, what did you do with your winter bedding? Well, at the time when I was holding it, it did not bring me joy. So that got donated as well. So if you guys are considering to do the life-changing magic of tidying up, I highly, highly suggest if you live in a climate where you get a whole bunch of different seasons, make sure that you think about that before you donate things. Like I said, I got rid of a whole bunch of things that I needed to get rid of. Like it was a good thing, but that was the one mistake that I made with um, the Marie Kondo is I got rid of things that I did not need to get rid of, that I did not want to get rid of, but at the time I was thinking, get rid of it. So um, yeah, leave a comment down below and let me know who has done a Marie Kondo that is watching this video? Have you been condified? And if so, how do you feel about it? And are there any regrets that you have after the fact? Um, and like I said, this did not come to a realization for me until winter hit. Um, I did this, I believe, in June. And it is now uh, late December. And this is what's happening. So... I just thought that I would share with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you guys all later. Bye, guys.